Hello everyone, welcome back to Amiga Heaven. Now today, I'm looking at a game that I don't know many people are going to know what it is. It's from an amazing company, Vulcan Software. I found this game first, and then bought practically every one of their games. This is called Hilsey Lido. And for anyone who's a fan of Theme Park or Theme Hospital, you are going to love this game. Because this is Theme Seaside. You get a beach, you get a... You get a jetty. This is the jetty. You get to place things along there. And this is the beach. You have a lot of money to start with, but it goes very quickly. And you also get to place a show for Sundays and try and sell as many tickets as you can. This whole thing is sped up. Um, because obviously I'm doing the audio separately. And because it's incredibly slow compared to how I remember it, I have to say. This is um, 300 times faster for anyone who's looking at this thinking, oh, this is about normal speed though. No, this is 300 times faster. It's so much slower than this. And yeah, now basically, this is so you can see I've placed the items on my promenade and you have to set a sale price for each item you have to set the commission because the guy in the booth wants commission otherwise he, he will be nasty to your people and you have to purchase stock then you have to wait for the stock to arrive the difference with this game to the other games the, the, the theme in the sim games is you have to actually send a money collector to actually go and collect all the money so the money will be stored in there and you have to physically collect the money as you go so you see I've hired a, a sweeper and here he goes he goes along he'll clean the floors once and that's it. Once he's been hired to do it once, he will not come back unless you hire him to do it again. So it's a one-off payment, essentially. Um, now, obviously, this is just a small promenade. You can have extra length. You see, this is how you buy goods. You select how many you want. So now I've got ice cream... And I have postcards on the way. I can set my price and my commissions while I'm waiting for stock. Obviously, um, it's the same as theme park. The more further on the list the items are, the more price you can charge. And when people go in to buy the goods... You see that you'll get a cheeky smile if they like it. And you'll get a, that's too much money. And you've got to wait for that to go. There you go. So, rock is on its way. All right, let's now go to the beach. Hire a cleaner for the beach because there's some rubbish here. Okay, now the way that this works is exactly the same as you just saw. Um, it sounds too expensive but I mean I have money so I wasn't sure what that was about but I've got one to start with now the price is I'm putting the price up first because if the commission is zero he won't sell anything so I set the price first and then I get the game off up and then I set his commission and then as someone buys one <gasps> They've got a rubber dinghy. There she is, on the dinghy, yay! And they go, and that's fantastic because that's what happens with everything that you put on there. Whatever it is, 
um, when they purchase the item, they go onto the beach. It's great fun. Okay, so, you see now this man here is the man that you hire to collect your items. And what you're supposed to do, here he comes, is it, it helps to hire um, like a strong man to walk along with him because he can be mugged. If, you, if, if you've got um, a mugger walking along, he will just take whatever money. People are buying the rock quite nicely. Okay, so that's the game. Uh, that's just going to keep going. Um, I love this game. It was so much fun when I found it. I'm going to tell you a little story now about this company and how I found it. For those from the 90s, people might remember... I used to purchase games through a mail order company. I would buy Amiga magazines and in the pages somewhere, normally towards the back, there would be an advert for a mail order company and they would just list all the different games that you could buy. You cut it out, tick the games you want, send it off with a postal order, that's it, a postal order. And what you would then do is wait until the money cleared and then they would send you the games. Probably once every couple of weeks I would have a look down the list of all the different games that are possible and any game that I hadn't heard of but sounded interesting I would buy them, give them a go, you know, give them a try. And then one day, I discovered he'll see Lido. And didn't have a clue about what it was. There was no Google search back then. Well, there probably was, but it wasn't what it is today, let's say. So I got the game. And I fell in love with the company that I pretty much owned every one of their games. Pretty much. Now, over the next month or two, I am going to be introducing people who have never seen them before into ah oh, there you go the guy with the red hoodie who's what who's in the middle of the screen there he is the mugger he's the guy you got to be careful of because he goes a lot faster as well see that it's coming around again i think they make much more frequent journeys when there's been no when there's been no security I think. You see, look, I'm sending him now because the guy's just left. But he comes back round again too quickly. You can see him catching my man. But he made it. He made it off screen. And I got my money. So you've got to be a bit careful with those guys. But yeah, basically... They don't do a huge amount of point-and-click games necessarily, so there's going to be the odd game here and there, starting with this, obviously. So I've basically I've hired a show for Sunday, so now I am sending the guy with a sandwich board to advertise it because you have to get advertising up so that people will come and. Um, come to the show because you want people to come to the show and obviously yes it's the same as theme park in that you, you know you have to keep track of your stock oh I'm going to collect my last I'm going to collect more money and away it goes
yeah, I have to say, you know, strategy games are always something for me. Because they're the kind of game I can just get lost in. You know, I re really can. And um, I think the game really... Theme Park was fun. But I think I played this and Theme Hospital more. There you go, nice clean beach. Oh, we're up to Saturday. So the show's going to be happening on Sunday. And as you can see, I'm speeding it up a little bit now. You can see how many visitors there have been. So I'm going to hire a sandwich board for the beach, because there's been a lot more people on the beach. I mean, technically, the way it's working is... The beach and the promenade are both just the size of this screen. You can purchase more size to extend them both to allow you to obviously add more items. And then, you know, it's the same as with, with all these games. The longer the promenade or the beach, the more things you can place down and then the more pe money people will spend okay so now I'm gonna hire see I was being a bit too cavalier I think the word the right word is here I decide right it's Sunday I can see the guy with the banner clava so I send my man to collect the money and he comes back round again. And he takes my money. I thought I could beat him again because of the way I beat him the first time. And I lost all my money. Which was a large amount of takings. Because that was a while that I hadn't been collecting them there. And, and then that's it. Basically, I speed up to the show. No, no awards at the moment. And here come all the people for the show. Now, obviously, I didn't play this 100% properly. I didn't advertise it very well. Um, I didn't use the cheapest items on the beach. I used, like, the cheapest and then one of the more expensive ones, which used a lot of my money. But obviously, you know, it's the same as theme park. You don't go straight, you're not supposed to go straight to the roller coaster, you know. And then you can actually watch the show. Here we go. Curtains up. That's right, he was the balloon man. He made a dog. He made a heart. Oh. He made a face. He made another dog. Yeah, there you go. And uh, I think this is where I'm going to leave it. You saw a week. It's a, it's a great game. It really is. Um, Vulcan Software made some really fun enjoyable games and like I said you'll be seeing a few um, in the next coming month or so so look forward to that if you want to watch the next video now then please go to my patreon page and you can see the very next video otherwise check out my website and you can see what is coming up thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time